Good evening. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Welcome on Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday night. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Day. Good evening. Good evening. A little bit. How are you? Can you hear me well? Yes. All right. I was scared. My camera was not working at the beginning. My God. <laughs> so how was your day? Um, it's a long day in my work. It's been a long day, yes. How about Carlos? Como digo, me incapacitaron. <laughs> I am sick. You are party. I am sick. I have a medical leave. Really? Yes. Uh, from, ye from yesterday to today. Ah, uh, yes. You told I... me you were not feeling well. Ah, me puse peor. Como I... I... <laughs> I got worse. I felt or I got? Ah, uh, I felt worse worse mm -hmm. eh, es, the I, flu um, infection the throat throat, uh, throat sore throat 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 I am uh, with antibiotic antibiotics yeah. antibiotics <laughs> the doctor prescribed antibiotics <laughs> Yes, uh, a little bit uh, temperature. And you have pain on your body. What? Do you have pain on your body? Dolor pain. de cuerpo, pain. Ah, no. Pain on the uh, uh, No. <laughs> My life. <laughs> All right. No. No, no, it's okay. I I have character characteristics. Uh, I came for a temperature. And you don't have pain. I don't dolor de cuerpo. You don't feel pain you on your feel. body. <clears throat> no me duele. I yeah, don't right. feel pain on my body. Feel pain on my body. Okay, nice. You're lucky nice. because pain on the body is <sighs> Tedious. Today and uh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Only that. Friday, I present. You have to work <laughs> on Friday. Okay. All right. Okay. Yes. Well, I hope the medicine work. The medicine make you feel better. Yeah. Um, I. 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 Drinking, mm -hmm. drinking medicine, yes. uh, and I I can finish the plataforma. Mm -hmm. Oh, you finished the exercises on the platform? Yeah. Nice. That's good. That's really good. I wow. Join, I, I. I would say disfrute, I enjoy, enjoy. it. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah. I enjoy the rest. Yes. Sometimes it's necessary. Yes. Yes. Okay, Hazel. Good night. Good evening. For the moment, I stay only listening because I stay in activity at my work. I've been listening tonight because I still am, I'm still at work. Oh my God. That's <laughs> that's labor exploitation. <laughs> it's eight p.m. <laughs> it's eight p.m. So I believe if you go to work like early in the morning at seven and it's seven p.m., you have been at work twelve hours. That's long hours long long hours long shift 
Well, anyway, sorry to hear that, girls. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yes, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, let's start on our class on this Wednesday. Oh, let me get the attendance first. The name, yes, right here are your names. And now let me look for the date. Well, practically, in theory, we start the new unit today. Today is the 28th, yes? The 28th of September. Next month is the month of Halloween. Are you ready for Halloween? Are you prepared? Not really. <laughs> no. I mean. Good. Uh, it's an American custom. Food, it's an American food. tradition. I, in the supermarket, I, I, I mean, so. A lot of I, decoration. Christmas and Halloween. <laughs> Imagine Christmas is in December. <laughs> Just time. How do you say just time? It's business. Mm -hmm. But it's Christmas is in December. Halloween at least is in October. But after September, everything is Christmas. It's just a little bit of Halloween. I mean, not much that we can say, but it's okay. Isabel, good evening, everybody. Good evening, guys. Hi, Isabel. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. I see you have a better, better signal, better internet connection today. Yes, I, I hope. Yeah, let's wish for the best. Let's cross the fingers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Nice. The attendance. I I see Adriana is gonna be a listener and Hazel as well. So we won't say the name, Carlos. Present. Hi, Christina. I saw Christina. Present. Hi. <laughs> Daniel. Not yet. Uh, Elsie. Elsie, Elsie, are you in class? Not in class. Not yet. Not yet. Oh my goodness. Fairman, of course. Present teacher. How are you? Very good. Just good. Hector, good evening. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> you were working last night. Yep. Working, what time working. do you finish? What? What time do you finish work? Um, finish my work. Mm -hmm. Continue and continue and continue. <laughs> so your work never finished. Never, never finished. Um, <laughs> I have a little problem with the contract mm. uh, because uh, it final. How finalize? Finish. Finish, but no the construction. Mm. Not it's a little problem. Uh oh. So you have to fix that problem. Um, it's necessary uh, to extend. Extend, uh -huh. extend the date, that. Mm -hmm. the time. That. Oh my God! Nothing, nada, nada. Nothing, nada. Nothing new. <laughs> Nothing surprising. Surprising, actually. <laughs> okay, Irma. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Isabel. Present. Lucy. Present. Welcome. Mayra. Present. Hi. Samuel is not here, right? 
Wendy, Nahir, and Jacqueline. Preston. Hi, welcome. Hi. Did you participate yesterday in class? Yes. Yes, you were in class yesterday. Oh no. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe there is a mistake on this. Okay, good. Well, uh huh. What do you remember from last class? Memories. To oh, my question. How to ask questions about another person, about a third person, right? Uh huh. What else? What else? What else? What other information do you remember? Write on the chat, whatever you remember. It's okay. Refresh your memory. Refresh, <laughs> like on the internet. <laughs> uh -huh. What did we study? What did we practice yesterday in the last class? Let's make memories. Let's make memories work. Mm -hmm. We, we study, we practice. Uh -huh. We were talking about employees performing people. Mm -hmm. We talk about employees, performance, behaviors, and discipline. Okay, we use the auxiliary does, exactly, to ask questions about he or she, right? Does he follow the rules? Does he follow instructions, right? Does she uh, take initiative? Mm -hmm. What else? She now delay the uh -huh. What else? What else? Does she complete the work assigned? Does she complete the work assigned? Exactly. Mm -hmm. What other thing? Have you checked the unit four already? A ver quién ya, ya chequeó por lo menos la Unit 4. ¿De qué va a tratar? <ríe> ¿Any idea? No, no yet. Any <ríe> yet. We don't have any idea yet. The past, the past of B. Why we need one class to study this very simple topic? Because it's a little bit complicated. You have to remember many things. Remember, the conjugation of the verb be in present is am, is, are. Negative, am not, is not, are not, or isn't, or aren't, right? And of course, the same verb is the auxiliary. In past, we have two conjugations as well, was and where. So, I, you, he, she, it, was. You, we, they, were. And in negative, wasn't or weren't. So, this is what we're going to study. Of course, let me introduce the topic. Let's see. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned before, right? This is the session 16, Wednesday, September the 28th, right? So we're going to exchange questions and answer about meetings, training, and other work related using the simple past of being. 
Ah. <laughs> Have you ever studied the simple past in English? So this is the first time. Recuerden haber estudiado el tiempo pasado en inglés alguna vez? In some what? life. Yeah. Sorry? What? For, what? For he can. Yeah. He can eat. Mm -hmm. yeah. Algunos verbos en pasado se le agrega ed y di. Right. Oh. Ajá. Uh, otros que simplemente son otra palabra. Por ejemplo, si digo, I go to school, yo siempre voy a la escuela. Pero ayer fui a la escuela, entonces no puedo decir I go it, sino que tengo que recordar que el pasado de go es when. Pero en esta sesión no vamos a estudiar todavía todos los verbos, solo vamos a estudiar el pasado del verb be. Y les decía que es la conjugación was o where. ¿Con cuáles sujetos voy a usar was? Con I, he, she, it, was. O para el negativo sería wasn't, solo le contracto not. Y para you, we, they, que sería were o were not, que sería weren't. Right? So, this is what I'm So, nothing to worry about. <laughs> okay, we are supposed to watch this video. Después lo voy a compartir because I don't think we have the rights. So, we gotta go ahead and practice. How often do you attend meetings? And what other events do you take place at your workplace? What other events take place at your workplace? ¿Qué tan seguido o con cuánta frecuencia a ustedes les toca participar en reuniones y que otros eventos ocurren, suceden o tienen lugar en su lugar de trabajo, en su workplace. ¿Qué otros eventos podrían pasar? Trainings, meetings, uh -huh. o trainings, sorry, I was saying meetings, right? Trainings. ¿Qué tal? Yeah, ¿Con qué tanta frecuencia ustedes tienen capacitaciones, entrenamientos? Algunos creo que ya compartían esto en la otra unidad. Mm -hmm. They say every week, once a month, twice a year, three times a year, two times a month, right? Once es una vez, once a month, twice, dos veces, twice a month, twice a year. ¿Y qué otros eventos suceden, ocurren, no tienen lugar en sus empresas, en sus compañías? Aparte de los training. Think about. Piensen. Conferences. Workshops. Trips, parties, <laughs> celebrations. Press conference. Uh -huh. All right, conferences. Uh -huh. Webinars. Webinars. True. Training. Trainings. Uh -huh. So this is what we're going to talk about, right? How often do you receive or do you have trainings? Do you attend trainings? And what other events take place at your workplace? Sounds a bit redundant, but that's... Correct. Okay, that's how you say it. All right. Let me give you some minutes for you to talk about the events that you usually have. So this is not something that you're going to follow. This is something that has to flow more natural. Okay. So you talk to your partner. Okay, there are some people that are saying that are going to be just listening. <sighs> I don't want to send them to a group and they are not going to be participating. So... I'm going to be assigning the participants. Let the participants choose the rooms. You're going to be choosing the room. No, I'm going to be assigning the rooms anyway. You see? Okay. Mm, Adriana cannot be in a room because she's a listener. So it's going to be Carlos. Uh, let's see, Carlos, Isabel, and Irma in the first room. Room two, 
would be Cristina, Fermán, and Hector. Room three, I'm gonna have Lucy, Mayra, Samuel. Why not? In room four, let's see. Better not, okay? Hmm. Probably Wendy only. All right. Let's open up. Hello, teacher. Hi. Driving. Teacher. Okay, no problem. Thank you. All right. Ajá, no, yo a darle para entrar iba cuando apareció Wendy en la pantalla, eso me desapareció. ¿eh? Y ella andaba buscando por dónde podía. No, estaba solo, dije yo, voy a hacer un soliloquio. <risa> bueno, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Bien. ¿Qué era lo que dijo que íbamos a hacer? Cuido. Estoy más para allá que para acá. Teacher, hello. Hi. Uh, repeat, please. The instruction. Yes. Beat. A bit. <laughs> yes, you have to talk about how often you receive trainings in your work. Mm, I and, remember. Yeah, I already sent the screenshot to the WhatsApp group. Okay. Uh -huh. I... And what other events you have in your company? So, okay. Mm -hmm. I remember. All right. My job de Cristina era la diferencia entre darla y recibirla. Ajá. Training for clients o receive training. I don't know. You can talk about both actually. Ah, hola, teacher. <laughs> you can talk about when you give trainings and when you receive trainings. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. ¿Cómo así? Espera, vamos a ver. Dijo la teacher que era lo que puedo recibir, lo puedo darla, cualquiera de las dos. Mm -hmm. Yes, give, give, dar. Mm -hmm. okay. O receive. Si en el caso de ustedes les toca dar training, pues escriban y hablen sobre esas ocasiones. Y si les toca 
recibir training, pues también pueden escribir esa parte. Ok. Bueno, en mi caso, me toca las dos. Ni Pero, bueno. ajá. Uh, I... Ok. Eh, also, uh, meeting, meeting all, all day, so, mm -hmm. five times a week. Um, y en activity diaria, ¿cómo sería? Activity diaria, ¿cómo se dice? La actividad diaria. Normal activity. Normal work, normal day. Normal activity. En normal activities. One, one, ¿cómo se decía que era una vez por? Once. Once. Once month. Once a month, se dice. Mm -hmm. uh, all staff. Mm, eh, ¿Cómo dice? Nos reunimos, ¿cómo dice? Pero nos reunimos para festejar algo así. En, we enjoy together to, for a party or we uh, after after office teacher? after office in the office cafeteria yes okay. we have That's a celebration say. we get together we have we joined mm -hmm, Join. to celebrate yes entonces um, once once more Together okay. with my partner to, to party and green only. Green? <laughs> and drink. Ah, drink. 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 What kind of beverage do you drink? Are you drink? I, I drink uh, vino, vino and um, wine. Uh, Cerveza, ¿cómo se diría? Beer. Beer. Vino es wine. Beer en snap. En karaoke. karaoke what, kind of, what kind of music do you like to sing? I like um, music. Uh, eh, rock. Do you like rock? Do you like rock? Right. I, mean, I like rock. And then... As a semon. Uh, I, 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 I meeting, como se nos, nos reunimos, ¿cómo se dice? I, I, Dame la eh, idea en español. Como nos reunimos, te dice. We enjoy together. Okay. We enjoy or. We enjoy together. The, from five, Friday, Friday the, from five to, to, to ten. Okay, we enjoy, we enjoy, uh, we enjoy together all Fridays to 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, we enjoy together. Together? Five, together. Together. From, from five. All Fridays? All Friday, no, all, one. Once, once, once in a month, once, once in a, a month. month, one Friday in a month. One Friday in a month. One Friday in the month. One Friday in the month. In the month. In the month. 5 p.m. Training in your job. I receive. Capacitation a little bit yeah. once one meeting if it was still if still the Uh, 
Ethereum Do you have Quiero eh, eh, preguntar What What, what frequency Training in your job eh, For example in the year <coughs> Frequency. What? Repeat, uh, the ah, uh, of frequency. Uh, how? Um, how many training you do? Yes. It's very, rarely, rarely. It's once a month. Uh, yes. It's good. All, all, all. <laughs> Almost nothing. The, the training. Uh... They, they are uh, national or, or international too? No, it's national. Hey, me ya me, ya me bo. Ya ni camarones voy a comer porque rico de ir al, al, no, a comer con no, es por lo que comen. Es más, es más, no, es la tortuga, no sé qué proceso digestivo tiene, que lo, lo acumula de, de ahí. Ya no puso una Entonces, carita la teacher. Sí, ya había <risa> Hola, <risa> teacher. Y se está dando capacitación. No, please. <risa> Sorry, teacher. Ay, no. Ya, ya, próximamente van a haber liberaciones de tortugas, así que si quieren anotar, ahí, ahí, ahí avisen. Ah, let's ah, go. ¿dónde? ¿A dónde? En los cóbanos. Eh, casi en todo el país hay liberaciones de tortugas. Va a avisarnos y... Nice, let's go. Yo nunca he comido nada de tortuga. No, no, no lo haga, piche. I know, es it's, it's, not, it's not good. Pero sí, de verdad, no, no, o sea, ni, ni aunque hubiera la oportunidad de que me dieran algo de tortuga, no me lo comería. Me da cosa. No, es... Yo que que son animales que no se deben comer. Son reptiles. No, no. ¿Si son no. reptiles? No. ¿Qué son? No, eh, eh, no dentro <risa> de, los, de los reptiles, sí. Están par son parte de los reptiles. ¡Yo! ¿Qué es eso? 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 ¿Qué ¿Y cómo que no hubiéramos comido los dinosaurios? Y él lo ah, digo. Se extinguieron. <risa> Por eso va a decir. Y se extinguieron, ya ves que no necesariamente tiene que ah. ser. Una buena. <risa> no, pero no. I don't like. A mí no me gusta ni la idea de que la gente se coma esos viroénimos. Bueno, de anyway, eso. Hay gente que. Okay. Perfecto. Se comen los huevos. Eso es lo que estamos hablando. Uh -huh. Que hay una ley que. Ajá. Pueden meter 15 años preso. Oh my God. No, y también hay gente que, que compra. Ah, esas son las capacitaciones también. Uh -huh. Gente que compra eh, periquitos. De la vida silvestre. Este, de oh, malo. Es, sí. Ajá, a ver. Es que es como o sea, forz... sí. forzarlos ¿verdad? a que estén en un hábitat que no es el de ellos. Es uh -huh. uh -huh. good. No. En el campus de la Universidad de Salvador hay un montón de, de, de parrots, pero de los grandes, de las sí. la loras. Sí, sí. Ahí viven. De la lora. Uh -huh. Tucanes también. Uh -huh. ahí ahí es, ahí, sí, ahí, como hay ¿Sí? bastante vegetación y árboles muy grandes que nadie los va a alcanzar, ahí están y como hay bastante fruta y se alimentan. I used to teach at the USNUS on, on Sunday morning y ahí se escuchaba el programa Buya, como que se sentían invadidos. Sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es cierto. True, true, true. 
Por la bueno. acústica. <risa> ah, yo no fui por ahí. Yo tenía clases en, la, en, los, de, en los de humanidades. Ah, en humanidades. Uh -huh. No, pero también por ahí. Mire, really? Si iban a la concha acústica, no iban a estudiar, compañero. Ay, Fernán, ya está revelado. No, lo que pasa es que en la, en la concha acústica estaban lo, lo, los teatros al aire libre. Uh -huh. Literally. Ah, sí. Sí. Ah. <risa> ok. Nada, nada. Bueno, entonces, repetir. Okay. Ah, bueno, ya casi se acaba. Ni modo y cualquier cosa. Wendy parece que se está filmando todo el tour. <laughs> Are you still traveling, Wendy? My goodness, be careful. Daniel. Mm -hmm. Maybe no a driver. La That's... policía y le diga, ¿qué va haciendo? Estoy recibiendo clase, le voy a decir. <laughs> <laughs> Yo no voy a decir nada, Wendy. Ok, welcome back. All right, anything you want to share? Algo que nos quieren compartir de los interesting trainings and events at your partner's workplace? Algo que les ha llamado la atención, ¿sí? Yes. Eh, training and capacity. Capacitation is different or is it not good to say capacitation? No, eso es como nosotros nos la hemos inventado porque suena parecido al español, pero no. Eso es training or workshops. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Training or? Workshops. Workshops son como talleres shop. de aprendizaje. Workshops, pero una sola palabra. Work workshop. and shop together. Repita, shop. repita shop. eso. Nosotros nos la hemos inventado, el capacitation. <laughs> <laughs> que nosotros, cuando, así como translation, y pensamos que todos en shock, ¿verdad? Para decir que hablamos inglés. No training, no graduation. No English, no graduation. O sea, ahí se aplica el Spanglish. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's actually an invented word. Ah, training or no, work, no, no. workshops. Aquí se lo pongo en el chat, don't worry. Workshop. Uh -huh. Literal. It's funny, this, this. This combination work. Exactly. Work no, no, y, no, y no tiene solo ese significado. Puede significar taller, taller de aprendizaje, ¿verdad? Cuando usted eh, está en algún training, pero que también lo ponen a, a hacer algo. Entonces, también puede ser el workshop de, de Santa, por decir algo, el taller de Santa. Um... Ajá. Donde realmente se crean cosas. Es como más hands on, es como, ajá, como, como un, un taller por donde usted también crea algo, participa creando algo, ya sea en grupo o individualmente. It's like the rain, rainstorm. Brainstorming, ajá, pero brainstorming es más de ideas, literal. Bueno, vas a hacer un mapa mental, escribir ideas sobre algún proyecto, eso es brainstorming. Pero workshop es como un training, un taller. Un taller de lectoescritura, por decir algo, por lo menos en nuestro ambiente, ¿verdad? Podría ser un taller de ventas, un taller sobre algo, alguna habilidad Teacher, que ustedes necesiten. ¿Cómo? Uh -huh. eh, ¿Mapa mental? ¿Cómo, cómo dijo? Brain. De... Brain. Brainstorm. 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 No, brainstorm es lluvia de ideas. Mapa mental sería mind map. Pero para hacer un para hacer un mind map necesitamos brainstorming. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok. So, algo que nos quieran contar que les haya parecido interesante, que les contó sus partners. Uh -huh. Cristina. <laughs> Cristina, uh, talk us about uh -huh. your capacitation, uh, capacitation. Her Gringo training. <laughs> I always remember. She, she, uh, ¿cómo se da? she eh, gives. Give every day, every day. 
My God, Christy. For people like me, <laughs> now understand uh, about the uh, bank in line. Uh, uh -huh, the online banking. Online banking. Mm -hmm. uh, and for man, uh, to uh, uh, give, no, como decía, recibe. Uh, receive. Receive and give a, a training uh, for. I, I, I understand. I, you understand? I understand. Uh, for grow him, himself, yourself, himself, mm -hmm. crecimiento propio. Yeah. And training, training with uh, your. ¿cómo sería? His colleagues, his partners, his co workers. Mm -hmm. Work my but uh, a los clientes. Oh, customers. Customers. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, I remember Fernand once said that he trains um, for the appropriate use of new machines. Uh, yes, new elements and stuff like that, right? Okay, good. Somebody else? Y nadie le aplaude a Héctor. Qué bárbaro. Good effort. Nice. All right. Who else? And Jacqueline. Uh, she, she does not need to celebrate with, with her, her color. She, she does um, not go to the party for her religion. Because of her religion. In, in, in her company. Mm -hmm. There are celebrations in her company and she doesn't participate because of her religion. All right. Yes, yeah, sure. it's okay. Mm -hmm. Do you usually have celebrations for your colleagues, for your co-workers? Because I heard Mayra has celebrations once a month. Every, every month there's a Friday to celebrate an after party. No, an, an after office. office. <laughs> <laughs> and an after party as well. <laughs> so she yeah. stays in the celebration. On the summer party, two days. Two days. Day. In Los Cobanos. Oh. <laughs> other, other, other place. Really? No están aceptando curriculum, resume. <laughs> I like it. I like it. My company nice. is very good. Este contacto Relaxing. de Mayra no lo pierdan. <laughs> Le conviene. It's, it's like, if I be my, my boss. Wow. I, uh, oh. Le voy a mostrar este video to my boss. <laughs> look, look what my students say. <laughs> Listen. Listen, <laughs> yeah, in that in the party that you have once a month, I mean a Friday of every month, it's in the company. You say at the cafeteria. Yes, uh, uh, we have cafeteria cafeteria um, special for a special for, cafeteria. Yes, <gasps> a special catering, a special food only, for the celebration. Only for as. Uh, 30 free employees. 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 Only for the Olympus. <laughs> Only for the VIP. So, so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she said that they have these activities eating a special dinner, drinking wine, yes, a and special beer. Dinner, special uh, drinks. Mm, drink, no, uh, ah, pero si, sí, tenemos café, como se llama? Gourmet. Coffee. Coffee, the, what do you call it? The machine. Uh huh. Only for 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 the people who participate in the for the people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, and they have a karaoke and they dance. It are are a television, are uh, play games, <gasps> games. So you want you don't want to go home that day. Yes. Este mes todavía no ha sido. ¿Cuándo va a ser? Eh, <laughs> Invite us. Porque si no, viene, no, no viene a la clase, por eso que está ahí. Really, next Friday, this Friday. 
eh, en esta semana, ¿cómo se llama? This week, this Friday. This week. This week. Hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Desde ahí se va a conectar y nos hace así un envío. <laughs> <laughs> Para que veamos. <laughs> wow. Okay. Are you going to stay at the celebration? Mm, yes. For three hours. Uh, eight, eight or nine o'clock. And then you go home. Depends my activity in my house. Okay. So uh, the, the all, the all, ¿cómo le diría? The last group. The last group. Uh -huh. Llegué tarde, por eso. <laughs> ah, you joined the class late. <laughs> Yes. Because like of it. that. So it's usually the last Friday of the month. Yes. Mm, how interesting. And what do you celebrate? Birthdays, achievements, goals, metrics. What do you celebrate? Or just for fun? No lo entendí. <laughs> ¿Cuál es el objetivo de la celebración? Celebrar ah, only, los, only, los, no, no, los only. objetivos alcanzados. Only convivencia. Convivencia. Yes. Okay, just share and spend time together. Mm. Write down, Mayra. <laughs> oh, mire, comparte esas prácticas con los otros companies. <laughs> Dígale, eso es It's como... my first company. Nice. Wow. They do care about the social environment of the company. That's great. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay, we still have some other concepts. Que me gustaría que discutieran, pero déjenme ver. Ay, me perdí en la slide acá. This is something we just share. But this is something that we're gonna be talking about. Trainings that are usually developing the skill of the employees that need to be improved their performance skills and abilities so we usually generalmente las companies no sé o no en sus casos pero in the case of the companies que no tienen así como establecidos training sugieren algunos training y los empleados obviamente los toman dependiendo de las necesidades que ellos tengan o de las habilidades que ellos quieran mejorar so for that we have this What, it's a workshop. A webinar is. And that if you have never attended a video conference. Obviously, con esto de la virtualidad, pues es como mucho más fácil, no necesariamente tienen que llegar las personas. I mean, like if they are international uh, trainers to go to their company and give you the, the training or the workshop in the place, right? They can be, I mean, they can make a video conference, right? As we do for the English class. So, uh, probably you have already discussed about this. And we have already given examples, okay? So, workshops are usually uh, trainings in which you participate, but very actively, right? A webinar definitely is a seminar or a training that is given through a video conference, okay? Or it's just um, the person giving you, providing information, right? And as well as the video conferences that now are more common, or sometimes it's just a meeting, but with a person that is not near, so this person needs to be connected on a video call, right? Okay, I have... I have this explanation. Obviously, yo les voy a compartir estos screenshots para el uso de el past simple de el verb be. Esa es como la estructura base. ¿Ok? I, you, he, she, it, we, they. I was, you were, he was, she was, it was. Eso es mucho más fácil si ustedes agrupan todos los que van con was y todos los que van con were. Esto era yo, perdón, la traducción literal es como yo era o yo estaba. Él era o él estaba. Es el pasado del verb be. ¿Ok? Esta sería la parte negative. 
Este sería para formular questions. Yo no necesito ningún otro auxiliar, simplemente lo pongo antes del sujeto. Por ejemplo, si yo le quiero preguntar a alguien, ¿estabas en tu casa anoche? Were you at home last night? Yes. Y para responder, también respondemos con el mismo was o were. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. No, you were. Obviamente, was not contractados wasn't, were not contractados weren't. Okay? Don't you worry, yo les voy a compartir este screenshot para que ustedes sepan cuándo va was, cuándo va were, wasn't or weren't. Okay? Bye. Aparte de esto, I have some exercises. Aquí hay algunas oraciones. They, ya sé que no es was, sino que es were, ¿verdad? My sister, she. Entonces, aquí lo que vamos a hacer es poner was o were. Vamos a trabajar en esto. Relíme un segundito, ahorita se lo comparto todo. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Yes. Obviamente también van a tener que ver si la oración va en afirmativo o negativo o si es pregunta. Pero tienen el primer cuadrito para guiarse. Hold on. Creo que los rooms nos vamos a mantener porque creo que las otras personas todavía están solo de listeners. Que okay? no las podemos incluir. So here you go. Sí, hay dos, dos capítulos. Ah, sí, sí, está, la, está como la sintaxis, y la, y la, el ejercicio. Uh -huh. Y ahí que tenemos que poner a ver qué va. Guay. Guay. Bueno, entonces. Paso. Guas, güero. Ahí el, el bueno es Carlos. Ah. El, ahí. <ríe> Usted entiende bastante esto. <ríe> ah, no. Vale. <coughs> Número number two, pero empieza desde las dos. No hay uno. Ajá, no, desde las dos. Ok. Number two, yeah. will be eh, is a complete yeah. he used the past time tense of B. They ah, we won the football game. They really had they what they were, Saria. They were. Sería entonces la voz. Were. Ah, como es plural. verbos per se, sino que ¿cómo lo negamos? ¿cómo lo aceptamos? ¿o cómo lo preguntamos? Yo, él, ella o eso, en was. Tú, nosotros y ellos, en where. Y ahí vamos jugando como pregunta, como negación, 
o como respuesta positiva. ¿Ok? Number four. Thomas. Thomas was on the train at 3:30 yesterday afternoon. Thomas was. No sé. Y, eh, y al final también lleva. ¿Cómo? Thomas al final también. Ah no 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 sería. Que Thomas viene siendo he. Él. Thomas ah, was. La cuarta sería was. Thomas was on the play at 3.30. Yesterday afternoon. Las 5 a las 5. Bye. I was generous, or no? The, the first is question. Pero que dice arriba, use the past tense of the... I say, um, was was Jennifer tired after she finished work? No, she no, she wasn't. La was late for my appointment. Appointment is reunión. <clears throat> Osita. Appointment. Entonces, ahí so, entonces, entonces yo llegué tarde. Sí, pues sí, ahí. I was so I mean, I was late, late for my estuve sería entonces no ya me confundí que por qué era what <laughs> ya se espera <laughs> vamos para arriba como que llegué I was eh, si es pasado yo estuve ocupado ah esto bueno estar más o menos yo es yo llegué tarde, sí. llegué tarde. Yo estaba tarde ajá para mi reunión. Ahora viene la otra pregunta. Laura y Sus, ellas son they. Entonces, es where. Laura y Susan surprise. 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 Laura y Susan surprise. Es where. Digo yo. Where. Where Laura y Susan surprise. No, they weren't. Weren't. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The cookies says it is was. It's was. The cookies the cookie was delicious. delicious. So I, I ate hey. three of them. Okay. Otra pregunta. You, you is what? Was. No. No. Where? Vamos a ver. You where is you? where? Where? You were you? Were you? Uh huh. Were you at the library yesterday? Library is is. Library, okay. No, biblioteca is library. Okay. okay. Yesterday. No. <laughs> ah. No. No. In this school, I know a part of the library. Never mind. No, hay, ahí creo no, que. Entre... I... No, pero entonces ahí sería no hay was. Wasn't. Wasn't. Porque estoy wasn't. yo. Ajá, yo creo que si alguien me preguntó así, Eva. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Ok. Many dinosaur, dinosaurs. Dinosaurios. Dinosaurios, entonces son ellos. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Really harsh. Dinosaurs were really careful. Enorme. Uh, enorme. Eran realmente enormes. Ok. Muchos dinosaurios eran realmente enormes. Entonces, para mí es. Si es muchos, son ellos. Fred. Perfect. Number six. Six. My car broke down. So, I was was My car broke down. So, I was late for my appointment. Mi carro se arruinó, entonces llegué o fui tarde a mi reunión o entrevista. My car broke down, so I was late for my point for my appointment. Number seven. Were Laura and Susan surprised? Surprised? Why? Where? Where? Why? Por qué where? You said, you said verb. You said no. Dale. Be? Dale. Por qué? Por qué where y no was? O por qué no was y por qué sí to where? Person. To person. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Where? Entonces ahí es. No, they were. Eh, no. no were. Were Laura and Susan were, surprised? No, they? They weren't. Well, perfect. The cookie? Delicious, so I ate three of them. What is this? He, she, or it? Yes. Okay, cuando habla de cookies, ¿qué es? ¿Es una persona? Es, no, perdón, ¿es un él, es it's, un ella o es una it's cosa? An, it's, it. Es un Correct. Cosa. Perfecto. Entonces, ¿va? Where? No. Was. 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 Lotería. <laughs> okay. Number nine. It's a question. Nada, uh, Jacqueline. Okay. Es que, ¿Cuál? Number nine. Um, delicious is plural. So will be the cookies where? The cookies where? The cookies where? The cookies were delicious. So I ate three of them. Nine. This question. <clears throat> Were you? Were you at the library yesterday? No. I I wasn't. Do you understand? You go in loud. My face. It's a teacher. Hi, Hi. teacher. <laughs> What's up? Uh, in number 12. Well, mm -hmm. uh, la duda is. The movie we saw last night está hablando de como está hablando de la película, creo que es it, pero no uh -huh. confunde el we. No, solo simplemente estoy diciendo la película que nosotros vimos, pero el objeto o el sujeto de la oración sigue siendo la película. Ah, pues tenía razón, Héctor. Uh -huh. Entonces sería en este caso was. Exactly. Uh -huh. The movie was, was funny. funny. The movie was good. The movie was so. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Ah, pues era la Okay. Thank you. Sorry? Esa era la pequeña duda. Okay, no problem. 
Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. My favorite program era en la TV. Uh, was on TV. Was on TV porque sigue siendo eh, como el otro, uh, it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. My favorite program was on TV eight o'clock last night. Tendría que ser where. ¿Cómo dice? Where. You were. Where. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, sí, sí. Es where you were at the library yesterday. Where. Ajá, entonces. Y the letter, letter where. B. Where en, al final. ¿Al final? Where. En. No, porque está el sujeto I. O sea, yo. Como I se ocupa el was. El 9 quiere ver, en la primera sería Werber. Vaya, la 9 dice Where, where you at the library yesterday? Uh -huh. Estabas en la I? librería ayer, le pregunta. Uh -huh. Estabas en la librería ayer. Entonces es como que usted me pregunta a mí. Entonces yo le contesto, uh -huh. no, no estaba. Uh -huh. No, I wasn't. No hay cuasi. Ah, no, no puede ser. O sea, este es un caso diferente porque siempre empiezan con la, con la, se responde con lo que con, comenzó la pregunta. Uh -huh. Y la pregunta comenzó con where. Uh -huh. y entonces, pero aquí no se contesta con where, sino que, que como soy uh -huh. yo el que responde, ¿verdad? En este uh -huh. caso, digamos a usted, si yo le preguntara, usted me responde por usted misma. Uh -huh. ese día esta I wasn't esta prácticamente es la lección de la del, de las tareas que no pasaba ah, ¿verdad? sí Ajá. veamos la 10 many uh -huh. dinosaur where really oh, where ¿Cómo se dice Hush. sí Dinosaurus. Ah, where? Ah. Where? Eleven. I was born in 19. I was born, uh -huh. 1996. When? When were you born? I was. Where were you born? I was born in 1996. 1996. Ajá, ¿Qué? Eh, ¿Qué pronombre está ahí? El you, ¿verdad? En, en el 11, ajá, you born. Ajá. When, you born. Was. Uh -huh. Was, in, entonces. No, es where. 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 Number 12, the movie we saw last night. Very funny. I think it's was because uh, they talking about the movie. It. ¿Qué, qué, qué, qué creen? Para mí es, es. Just on time. Two for best. one. <laughs> What happened? Okay. Number 12. Uh -huh. The movie we saw last night. Very Pero funny. Was. Easy. Was very funny. Was why? 
because the movie was funny. Yeah. But we say <laughs> we. But we no, saw the was... movie. Pero qué estoy describiendo? Nosotros. La película. Oh, la, película. la película. The movie. Mm. Ajá, la película que nosotros vimos. Yeah. Pero está hablando de nosotros. Que nosotros pero, ¿cómo? la vimos, la película. Pero lo, lo que fue divertido fue la película. Yes. Ok. Was funny. Simplemente omita el we saw y simplemente diga the movie was funny. ¿Cuál película? La que nosotros vimos. The movie we saw. Ok. Entonces, va, ok. No sé, it was, it, it was the movie. It was, it was the movie. Ahí te tomando agua para que le pase. Fine. Ok, okay number 13. I was. I was I, a welder last year. Uh -huh. I was a waiter last year. But I changed my job in September. Was. Mm -hmm. I was a waiter. My favorite program was on TV. My favorite program on TV at 8 o'clock last night. Was. Was. My classmate in class, they were outside. Thank you, Luis. Mm. Los clásmiques son compañeros. Sí, correcto. Sí, ¿verdad? Michael, no es Está hablando de los compañeros, no está hablando de él. Sí. Es where? Ok. Yes. Porque está hablando de ellos. De ellos. Sí, de ellos. Right. Where? Hey. All right. Did you finish? Yes. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. My God. Here we go. Okay. The first one, Dave. The where? Where? That's correct. Yes. They were really happy after the wonderful game. My sister. Wow. My sister was yeah. a college student last year. Mm -hmm. Thomas was Thomas what? was on a train at three thirty yesterday afternoon. Five was mm -hmm. was Jennifer was Jennifer tired after she finished work? No, but she was. No, she was. No, she no. wasn't. She has a lot of energy. <laughs> okay, no, she wasn't. My car broke down, so. I was late. I was late for my appointment. Appointment. Mm -hmm. Seven. Where? Huh? Where? Where Laura and Susan surprised 
No, they weren't. They yeah. weren't. Nada de las sorprende estas chicas, ¿no? <laughs> no, they weren't. The cookies. Pues. The cookies were delicious. Pues were. Cookies es en plural, como las galletas. Yep. Mm -hmm. The cookies were. Si fuera una comida en singular, por ejemplo, de soup, ahí se sería was. The soup yeah. was delicious. Pero en el caso de las cookies, se es, es considera un plural, entonces sí es were. The cookies were delicious, so I ate three of them. Nine. Where? Where? Were you at the library yesterday? No, I was no, not. I was. No, I wasn't. Lazy. <laughs> okay. Many dinosaurs were, were, were really huge. I? I was born. I was born in 1996. When? Where? When were you born? When were you born? Esta, creo que ya lo han visto, ¿verdad? I was born, yo nací en tal año. Y cuando dicen, when were you born, es como, ¿cuándo naciste? ¿En qué fecha naciste? ¿En qué año naciste? Right? The movie we saw last night, esta es la, es la de la discordia. <laughs> no solo en el grupo, sino en todos. <laughs> really? <laughs> because some people wanted to say where because of we. <laughs> Okay. Who more say where? The other two groups, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so the movie was very funny. The movie we saw last night was very funny. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. I, I was a waiter oh, last year, but I changed my job in September. My favorite program was. was on TV at eight o'clock last night. Hmm. My classmates. Well, not parents. Lazy también. Uy, wait a minute. Se me perdió esto del texto. Where is it? Uh -huh. We're not. We're not. We're or weren't, right? Um, My classmates weren't. In class, they were outside. Hmm, en la concha acústica andaban. <laughs> Some people know those urban stories, those urban legends. Correct? Mm -hmm. No. But no are urban legends, teacher. The, the partners <laughs> told me. Yo no estoy en la web, yo trabajé en la web. <laughs> I didn't study there, I worked there. <laughs> They told me. Yo estaba contando de los teacher. parrots que viven ahí. De los birds, de los exotic birds. Dicen que en la concha acústica, dicen. They say. <laughs> Whoever is studying there knows better. The teacher. The teachers. No problems, no questions? No. Clear. Okay, Only teacher. the 12. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the one that nobody wanted to say. All right. Oh, my God. Bueno, venga. Just let me, oh yeah, creo que nos pasamos un poquito de la segunda tendas. Bueno, por formalidad nada más nos vamos a pasar por the same people. Okay, Carlos. Present. Christine. Present. Daniel dijo que iba a estar de listener, ¿verdad? Elsie. No, él sí no está. Herman. Here. Hazel. Héctor. Teacher, here. <laughs> Irma. Present. Mm, Isabel. Present. Lucy. También Pres no estaba el listener, ¿verdad? Present. Ok. <laughs> Mayra. 
Samuel. Present. Wendy. Ya llegó Wendy. I okay, am here. ¿Todo bien? Yes. Tenga. No. Ok, en Jacqueline. Por ahí estaba ya que no Disappear ya. Ok. Veamos. Let's continue. All right. Ok. En su manual, esta es la conversation que presenta el uso del was where. Pero no solo el was where, también están otras preguntas en tiempo pasado. Vale, vamos a hacer algo. Vamos a practicar la conversation, pero ahorita vamos a enfocarnos quizás donde encontremos el uso del was or where, que es el pasado del be. Con la otra estructura, con el did you, yes I did, eso nos vamos a detener un poquito mañana para explicarlo. Porque generalmente enseñamos, a, digamos, no podemos enseñar como ambas cosas tan a la ligera porque sí requiere un poquito de práctica cada una de las estructuras, aunque ambas son del pasado. El verb be no necesita ningún otro auxiliar, como en presente. Igual no digo does, he is. Simplemente pongo el is al inicio y digo is he. Is he lay? Is he a doctor? Entonces, lo mismo pasa en el pasado. El verb be no necesita ningún otro auxiliar. Se auxilia solo. En cambio, los otros verbos sí necesitan un auxiliar. Que para el caso del pasado sería el did. Como el pasado de do es did. Va, lo vamos a enseñar tal cual. Y luego nos vamos a detener a explicar esto de la estructura del virtue. Ok. It says, hey Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the meeting last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Uh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England. And Magali Zanini from Brazil. I love Ms. Zanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You're right. All right. Once again. Hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Uh, let's see. Andrew Jensen from England and Magali Zanini from Brazil. I love Miss Zanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You're right. Questions? Alguna pregunta en cuanto a esta conversation? No? Yes? Tell me, tell me. Tell me, tell me. Mm -hmm. mean challenge, mean challenge. Challenging. Cuando algo es challenge es como muy retador. Muy retador, cuando me reta algo. Por ejemplo, para el caso de ella, dice que su, su training no fue difícil, pero sí un poco retador porque los presentadores, o sea, los, las personas que estaban dando el training eran internacionales. Me imagino que el reto podría haber sido el idioma o entender la forma en la que ellos comunicaban las ideas, supongo. Ok, okay. thank you. All right, what else? What is the meaning? Meaning kidding? No kidding, es una expresión como en serio. ¿Quiénes fueron los presentadores? Who were the speakers? Porque kidding es como bromear, entonces no está bromeando. Really? Are you serious? Not kidding? 
Is this es friend a joke? Chico? Es que jokes sí, literalmente es estar haciendo un chiste, pero quieren es como estar bromeando, decir algo más como ah. en broma, no tan en serio. Uh -huh. Y joke sí uh -huh. es, estar, es estar haciendo literalmente chistes, o a veces como ah. bromas pesadas, pero podría ser un joke. Ah. Uh -huh. okay. Pero poor taste joke, así se llama en inglés la broma pesada, <risa> bromas de mal gusto. <risa> Yes. Es similar al, al, al present to be uh, with. Uh, no, en uh, la estructura. La estructura para, para, para el pasado. Yeah. Por ejemplo, did with a ten. Uh -huh. Y puedo responder literalmente con el mismo auxiliar que me hicieron la pregunta. Es como, okay. ¿fuiste, ¿fuiste al training la semana pasada? Sí, sí fui. Okay. <risa> Por eso les dije, una vez descubren ese secreto, es easy. Y así es para todos los tiempos. Obviamente es cuestión de ir acumulando el conocimiento de la estructura, de los tiempos y el vocabulario. That's all. Bueno, les doy chance para que practiquen. Obviamente, hoy sí les voy a rotar los, los partners, porque ya mucho. <risa> Um, yes, hopefully. Mm, bueno, si algunos quedaron con los que están de listeners nada más, luego me avisan. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me share screen to see the dialogue. Okay, the first time we're going to do it with Myra and then Myra with Wendy. Are you all right? Are you okay? okay. Are you agree? Okay. Uh, uh, you. If you want, I can be Lana and you be Lorna. Okay. Okay. Hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. Uh, the training was uh, when so it was at 10. The New Hotel. Ok, vamos otra vez. Cuando veamos los signos de puntuación, los vamos a respetar, porque eso nos da la pausa y nos da la entonación para fluir con el resto de la oración. Uh -huh. for, for, for example, Lana, ella está admirada de saludarla. Lana, yes, I did. Otra pausa. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Entonces, nos va dando las pausas y nos va diciendo dónde vamos a dar mayor entonación a la hora de responder. Okay. All right? Okay. Why? Okay, Lana. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. What was is difficult? Will is was uh, that difficult about it 
was very ¿Cómo se diría en esa, en esa palabra? Challenging money international, international es, es, speaker come on came came okay. well it wasn't well he wasn't. It, it, it wasn't it that difficult wasn't. It wasn't difficult. That that difficult. That that difficult. But but it was it was very, very challenging. The very challenge challenging. Many international speaker came. A speaker came. came. Okay. No kidding. Came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Who left uh, side? Who? Who? Let see. See. And angry. Angry. Andrew. Andrew Johnson from. Um, England, England, um, Magali, Tiny from Brazil. Ooh, let's see. Andrew Ooh. Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. Like, como le está, ahí le está diciendo, um, déjame ver. England. Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Miss Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You are right. Okay. Eh, a Ahora. usted, ¿cómo se llama Cristina? ¿Cuál le falta? Los dos hice ya. Pero ah, si quieres, llámalo otra vez. Mm -hmm. Bye. Eh, Bye. Hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last, last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Yeah. Sounds great. Tell me everything about is what is difficult. Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Well, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. Oh, I in. No, yo desde el uno. Okay. Bueno, practiquemos. ¿Qué falta? Eh. ¿Qué hiciste este por Lana y Lorna? Yes, yes, yes. Y Héctor, Lana y Lorna. Eh, lo, Lorna Lorna, va Lana no lo he hecho Lana no Ok, vale, dale vos Lana Y yo soy Lorna Vaya. Hey Lorna How are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes I did The training was awesome It was at the new hot hotel Sound great Tell me everything about it. What is difficult? Well, I wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were who were the speakers? Uh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Mr. Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You are right. Okay. Quiero ver. Voy a hacer Lana yo y si querés, Lorna, tú, Isabel. Okay. Va. Hey, Lorna. How are you? 
Did you attend the training lab? No. Kidding who were they a speaker? Oh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. Hello, Mr. Sanin. They was, uh, no, perdón. She was. She was the first international CEO to visit our company uh, one year ago. Two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago. You are right. Okay. Okay. Next hoy, one. Hoy vamos Mayra y yo, y Mayra, usted va a ser Lana y yo voy a ser Lorna. Lana. Hey Lorna. How are you? Do you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. Gracias por preguntar. Estoy bien. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Siri. <laughs> eh, ya veas, ahí ya nos entendió. Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. So great. Tell me everything about it was it difficult? Sounds great. Le vamos al signo de admiración, hacemos la pausa. Sounds great. Tell me Sounds everything. Great. Tell, Tell me, me everything about it. Was it difficult? Perfecto, porque después de la I va un punto. Entonces, CEO International. Ajá, aquí le dice cuando fue la primera vez de, de, de la Miss Sanini que vino acompañar de, de ladies. Eh, I love Dos Miss años atrás, two years ago. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería, sería eh, two years was, ago. Uh -huh. Two years ago, Sí, it was two years ago. Number three, where did the training take place? ¿Dónde tuvo lugar la capacitación? Sería uh -huh. nuevo hotel. Ah, en Brasil. Yeah. En Brasil o en Brasil. Uh -huh. en, en el hotel nuevo. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿A dónde está la respuesta? Es la segunda, la... la primera vez del horno. Mm. Mm. El nuevo hotel sería entonces. Uh -huh. okay. Yo creo que sería. Attend, que dijo que era attend, como pasar el, el asistir, creo que fue, ¿verdad? Did you attend? Sí. ¿A dónde dice eso? Es la, la primera línea de lana. Creo que es asistir. Ajá, asistir. Ay, el papá Laura Oso, mira, genial, algo así va.
All right. How was the practice? Was it good? <laughs> no bad, no problems, no issues. No issues, no problems. No, no issues. All right, cool. Let's see. We're going to have just a couple of students, participants, say in the conversation, and then we're going to keep going with the exercises. So I'm going to choose Wendy. It's going to be Lana. Are you yes. ready? And Christy. Yes. Can be Lorna. Hey Lorna, how are you? I did you attend the training at last at with. Yes, Lorna. Sería todo, todo yo. No, vuelvo a, vuelvo a preguntar, yo le voy a responder, don't worry. Ok. Hey, Lorna, how are you? I did you, did you attend. Did, did you attend? Did you, did you attend a day training last, last week? Last week? Last week. Week. Last week. Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. So great a Great. Sounds great. So a great great day. Uh, May every day. No. About, Tell me everything about it. May uh, uh May every day about it. Tell what? me, tell me, tell me everything, tell me everything, everything about it, about, about it, it was, was it difficult? Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't was that it difficult, difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No. I kid. No, kid no kidding. No kidding. No kidding. No kidding. Who were it? Who were the speaker? Who were it? Who were it? Is the speaker? Uh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I I love Mr. Sanin. As uh, she was a uh, day first international uh, uh, a CEO. 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 CEO to visit our company uh, two years I years ago. 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 You are right. You are right. Yes. All right. The questions. Discuss the following questions about the conversation. How does Lorna describe the training? Hmm? Sorry. ¿Cómo dijo Lorna que había estado el training? Difficult. It was difficult? It was awesome. It was awesome. Awesome. It wasn't awesome. that difficult, but it was awesome. Very challenging. Very challenging. Mm. Exactly. It was awesome. It wasn't very difficult. It wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. When was the first time Miss Anini came to the latest company? Two years ago. Two years ago, Miss Anini came to the company two years ago. 
Where did the training take place? In the new hotel. In the new hotel? Yes, it took place at the new hotel. That's right. Vale, para los que se estaban preguntando dónde estaba la explicación de esto del paso B en su manual, es esta la explicación que, que el manual da. Dice que usamos use the pass of B to talk about situations in the past. I, he, she, it, was. We, they, you, we, you, they, were. In affirmative statements, the training was very helpful. In negative statements, the training wasn't difficult, or it wasn't difficult, or it was not. Aquí en la parte de, de las oraciones negativas, ustedes tienen la posibilidad, si les suena más fácil, sin contractar, simplemente lo dejan así, was not. Pero, si creen que es más fácil, contractado, es más, reducen dos palabras a una, lo hacen contractado. Solo es ponerle el not al was, omitir la o, la sustituimos por un apóstrofe y lo decimos, it wasn't difficult. Okay. All the employees were happy to attend. Employees es plural, es como they, por eso usamos were. We were not unwilling to help. Or we weren't unwilling to help. Alright. Y acá tenemos un pequeño paragraph. Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts Mary had. He used the computer to present examples during the speech. Right, one more time. Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts Mary had. He used the computer to present examples during the speech. Preguntas, questions, doubts, palabras que no conozcan. It's okay. What's the meaning of? How do you pronounce? Mm -hmm. Speech. A speech. A speech is como la charla, el discurso. Doubts. Doubt. Dudas. Uh -huh. sí. Dudas. Dudas. Doubt. Clarificó, uh, doubt. aclaró dudas que Mary tenía. Mm -hmm. Damage. Daños. Cómo prevenir daños en el equipo. En el equipo que ella usa. Puede ser el equipo electrónico. El equipo de tecnología. No sé. Lo que ella utiliza en su trabajo. ¿Algo más? ¿Something else? Speech. 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 La charla. El discurso para dar su... Él usó una computadora para presentar ejemplos durante la charla. El discurso. Clarify. Clarify, aclarar dudas. Vale. Veamos. Vamos a escuchar a Sam. Sam nos va a volver a leer sobre esta descripción del discurso del training al que fue Mary. One, two, three. Mary went to training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she used and how to prevent damage on it. The presenter was really helpful and they qualified all doubts and he qualified Clarify, clarify. clarify all doubt. Mary had he used a computer to present example during the speech. Thank you. Hay algo que todavía no entiendan porque les, les queda un 
not clear. It's not very clear. Recuérdense que tienen que utilizar esta información para responder estas preguntas. How was the training? Aquí tienen the training. Uh -huh. Was interesting. Was interesting. interesting. Entonces cuando le preguntan, how was the training? La respuesta es, the training was interesting. <coughs> ¿Ya? ¿La van escribiendo? Yes. Please. The training. Was the training. What am I? It was interesting. Okay. Bye. What is the second question? When was the training? Last Tuesday. Last Tuesday. Last Tuesday. Para no solo decir last Tuesday, yo puedo decir it was. Para utilizar el was, ya sé que el it me está sustituyendo al training. It was last Tuesday. Yeah. Did you like it? Yes, she was. <laughs> Aquí es como que a ustedes les están preguntando, did you like it? Como que ustedes hubieran ido al training. Para el caso tendría que ser, did Mary like it? ¿Ustedes qué creen? ¿Que sí le gustó o no le gustó? Yes. Yes, she did. Vale, la pregunta tendría que ser así. Did she like it? O sea, si ¿sí le gustó el training. Okay. Yes. O did Mary like the training? La respuesta podría ser. Yes, yes she, she did. did. Okay. Yes, she did. Sí, podemos ver que sí le gustó porque she learned how to fix the equipment. And the presenter was really helpful. Y porque el presentador también era como muy... Pero, teacher. Yes. Y si es para mí la pregunta, entonces respondo, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Es como que le estén preguntando a Mary, creo yo, literalmente. Porque igual... Bueno, What did you learn? ¿Qué creen que respondió Mary? Mary, yes, she did. <laughs> Ajá, pero si le preguntan esto, what did you learn? Como que alguien le diga a Mary, ¿qué aprendiste? Y ella diría... Prevent yes. damage. Uh -huh. I learned how to fix the equipment. And how to prevent damage on it. En caso de que Mary esté respondiendo, ¿verdad? I learn how to fix the equipment. And how to prevent damage on it. Pero si ustedes estuvieran respondiendo acerca de qué es lo que aprendió Mary, te dirían, she learned how to fix the equipment and how to prevent damage on it. Yeah. Was the presenter helpful? Teacher. Yes. Estaría mal si, si dijera, por ejemplo... She did learn. She did learn. Allí estaríamos como repitiendo dos pasados. Ajá, o sea, se puede, se puede poner así también. Sí se puede, pero no es como lo, lo que se debe hacer. Es que, que eh, si yo voy a repetir el verbo y voy a poner el auxiliar, para el caso, si se fija, el learned ya está en pasado. Porque le doy de, eh, la ed. Entonces, si yo digo, she did learn. Entonces el verbo ya no iría en pasado, pero es como para enfatizar, realmente aprendió. 
Ajá, no, mi pregunta era, o sea, va, digamos, si, si contesto yo, uh -huh. mi pregunta era si se puede poner I learn o I did learn. learn. Sí, es lo que, le, lo que le decía. Si usted quiere enfatizar que realmente, que sí aprendió, puede poner el did. El did. Pero ya el verbo ya no lo pone en pasado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero lo normal es que se, que, que se responda nada más con el verbo en pasado. El auxiliar did nada más nos va a servir para hacer la pregunta o para la forma negativa con el did not. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Bye. En este caso, en la number five, ya no tenemos el did. Si se fijan de una vez, es was the presenter healthy. Fue muy colaborador el presentador. Was the presenter healthy? Aquí dice, the presenter was really healthy. ¿Cómo respondería? Y... Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Exactamente. Yes, he was. Sí, sí, fue muy colaborador. Uh -huh. Y en la última, did he use... Es, es colaborador, teacher. Help, o alguien que ayuda. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, did he use examples? He used the computer to present examples. Did he use examples? ¿Sí usó ejemplos? Yes. He, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Exactly. Bueno, y así queda. ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Alguna duda? ¿Any doubt? ¿No? No doubts, no questions. Okay. No doubt, no question. Veamos. Attendance, one more time. <coughs> bueno, voy a mencionar definitivamente lo que está... Carlos. Present. Cristina. Present. Fermán. Present teacher. Hazel. Héctor. Present teacher. Irma. Present teacher. Isabel. Present. Lucy. Mayra. Present. Samuel. Wendy. Baila present. Ay. <risa> Ese no había ido. Ok. Bueno, no está Jacqueline. Creo que nos va a tocar repetir algunos casos para los 10 minutos. En este día, quiero ver. Could be. De todos los que están aquí, ya todos participaron. Yes. Wendy, no sé si usted quiere quedarse por la parte de la clase que, que iba en el en la motorcycle y no está participando. Yes. All right. So the rest dismiss and I see you tomorrow. <laughs> Take care. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hi, Wendy. Hi, teacher. ¿Qué tal le fue en su viaje? Del trabajo. ¿Desde dónde hasta dónde se transporta en su motor bike? Desde a Pango, uh -huh. a poco. Really? Yes. ¿En la, en, la, ¿En la de oro? Sí, me gusta más la de oro que la troncal. Y no es muy oscura. Sí. No importa. <risa> ¿En cuál tienda está? ¿En la del centro? No, en la del Plaza Soyapango. ¿En la, en la viejita? Sí. 
En la plaza viejita que tiene las calles todas sí. arriba. Really. Sí. Usted de soy. Yo he ido a comprar ahí. De veras. Ahí compré una printer que yo creo que ya me arruinó porque nunca la uso. Mm. <ríe> Después de que todo se volvió digital, ya me imprimí. Y todo el día está ahí. Sí. De no. ocho y media. Hasta que se vaya el último cliente y hay veces que hay clientes que quieren que se la prueba el crédito en el mismo día. Uh -huh. Ay. Internet problems. <ríe> ok. Vale, le voy a compartir eh, la PowerPoint. No sé si vio las screenshots que le estuve mandando para que pueda repasar el uso de el pass of B, el pasado del was, I mean. El pasado del verb to be, was and where. Esas screenshots se las compartí en el grupo para que pueda hacer este ejercicio. Y acá, obviamente, saber que para I, you, he, she, it va a ser was. Y para we, you, and they va a ser where. Para el caso, en, este, en la primera oración sería they. Uh -huh. They were. They were really happy after they won the football game. ¿Sí? My sister sería was or were. Uh -huh. No hay día. <risa> Sería was. My sister was. Esto es como mi hermana era o estaba. Ok, en este caso estaba porque estaba en la universidad el año pasado. My sister was a college student last year. Entonces Thomas, que sería he, was. Okay, Thomas was on the train at 3.30 yesterday afternoon. Y así sucesivamente. Entonces, ahí tiene ya el, el ejercicio en el grupo. Usted puede resolverlo para practicar cuándo vamos a usar was y cuándo vamos a usar where. El negativo de was sería y, wasn't. Uh -huh. Y siempre que sea persona se, se usa el was. Es como él era o él estaba. Para ese caso voy a usar was. ¿Y el where para objetos y...? No, para ellos, nosotros, ellos. Ajá, o tú. Cuando le digo, tú estabas en la fiesta, you were. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Entonces lo que se tiene que memorizar es eso. I, he, she, it, was. You, sí, we, porque porque they, porque were. En el cuadro que usted mandó, que donde dice, he was, you were, he was, she was, it was, eh, we were, they were. Uh -huh. Entonces, eso es lo que se tiene que aprender para saber cómo responder las oraciones en el siguiente ejercicio. Ah, ok. ¿Ves? Así que lo puede reescribir. Para que le dé mayor, como mayor confianza, mayor práctica. Y ahí se lo llevo a revisar mañana. <risa> es donde está Wendy, voy a decir. <risa> Quiero que me atienda Wendy. Quiero ver el, el homework. Sí, ahí llega. <risa> ok, sí, ahí llega. No, teacher, ya no. <risa> no, teacher. Mira que hoy atendí una llamada y este era en inglés. Así, videollamada, y yo me quiero decir, 
solo hablaba un poco de español y querían que le enseñara el juego de salas, le enseñara um, este, la hacen cocina. Ese tipo de, hacen ese tipo de ventas así por, por videollamada. Sí, hay veces que sí. Por ejemplo, de call center, de este, perdón, de online. Mira, el cliente quiere con la tienda tal hablar, ¿verdad? Entonces, como ellos ya han llegado a esa tienda, entonces les transmiten la llamada. Dice, mire, le van a llamar, pero videollamada o llamada normal. Y ya se le atiende. Wow. Uh -huh. Híjole. Ah, pues, sí. Yo quiero una Ay, <ríe> Yo quiero una <ríe> Y con el discount. Ah. En el grupo anterior que, con el que estaba tenía un tenía un compañero, el Nilsson se llama. Él llegó a comprarme un combo. Really. Sí. ¿Qué es un combo? De una refrigeradora, eh, una cocina y un mueble de TV. Wow, todo eso. Con uh -huh. un crédito. No, contado, pues. He has money. Ah, <risa> trabaja, trabaja con el grupo, este, con Iron Man, con Man, algo así, que está ahí en la plaza. Por... Uh -huh. Iron Man. Nice. Qué good. Sí. Bueno, tal vez un día la conozco. Sí, paso por ahí, okay. pero o sea, generalmente paso como a la cara. A ver si no me pasa igual. Igual si no me pasa igual que él, porque yo a lo lejos con la mascarilla, es o no es, es o no es, y así, y me dice, va, que si se le haya conocido, si yo soy Wendy, me digo, yo, ok, bien. Vaya, Wendy, tenga cuidado, el amor, el bike. Ok, sí, good night. Good night, bye.